Welcome to Agriculture Academy, where we show you how to start a profitable business in agriculture. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. In our last video, we explained why avocado trees grown from seed take up to 15 years to bear fruit. In this video we are going to discuss one of the methods commercial growers use to solve this problem. One of the most common ways of overcoming the juvenile phase is grafting a bud from an already established tree onto a young seedling. This almost entirely eliminates the juvenile phase because the buds from the donor tree have matured enough to grow fruit after a few years. Depending on the condition, commercial avocado trees will be grown by grafting these buds onto either seed or clonal rootstocks. Before we get started, here is a bit of background on why the avocado industry places significant importance on rootstock selection. Rootstocks are important because the trees are highly sensitive to root diseases, which is caused by organisms like Phytophthora. Some cultivars, like Duke 7 and Dusa, are more resistant to these pathogens and when used as rootstocks, can help prevent disease manifestation in the rest of the tree. Now let's get back onto the topic of this video. Propagating avocado trees using a seed rootstock. Propagating a seed rootstock involves two different plants. A seedling which is grown from a seed that becomes the rootstock, and a mature tree which will donate the cyanwood. Once the seedling has grown, a bud is taken from a mature tree and grafted onto the seedling. These buds will then develop into the canopy system and produce fruit. The root system will have the genetic characteristics of the seed, whilst the canopy will be a clone of the mature tree. One of the problems with propagating avocado rootstocks directly from seed is that the grower will often not be able to guarantee that the seed is true to type. In other words, even if the seed is taken from a cultivar like Dusa, cross-pollination may have caused the seed to have characteristics from another cultivar. Therefore, another method was developed to solve this problem. Check out the next video to see how they do it. Thanks for watching and see you all next time.